It was good, G. So we're just going to continue to build on this. So from the last one, we determined that you are a spiritual being having a human experience, right? And you're experiencing space, 3D, and the movement of space is time from point A to point B. So 3D, space, 4D, time, you're at least a fifth dimensional being experiencing that. What's the proof? Can you have a body and be a body? No. And you can ask yourself, did your consciousness age or did it experience your body age throughout your life, right? So these are things you can look at yourself and self-observation is one way to look at this. So we're going to take it a step further. We talked about the awakening experience and how we're all basically pilots of our own spaceship. Our body is mainly space and just look at it as a spaceship that's meant to fly. A lot of the spiritual beings that have gotten to these levels of consciousness are deified and basically they're made to seem like they're the one and only, right? That's part of the belief system that is used to control us and keep us below the clouds. All of the belief systems and dogma and things of that nature are in these clouds. The only way that you can find out if it's true for yourself is to go within, have your own experience, question, right? That's when you start to take off. This reality, they keep us controlled because they keep us on the ground. We're the pilots of our own ship. No one else can pilot your ship for you. But if they make you think that someone else can take the wheel, right? Jesus take the wheel or someone else come save me, then you're going to be grounded for your entire life. You'll never experience flight for yourself, right? And that's your experience. That's who you are. And we're not adding anything to it. We're not giving you any belief system. We're not giving you any dogma, any doctrine. All we're saying is who are you? When you remove what you're not, what is left, okay? That's what it boils down to. So everything that keeps us divided, all of the lies and deceptions and things and the illusion of separation are all in these clouds. And the people that get above the clouds that come back down are trying to tell you that, trying to tell the other beings that. Why? So we can reach our height, so we can reach our potential as individuals and as a collective, right? So as I mentioned before, you know, a plane is meant to be on the ground, but only for a limited time. And sometimes they can refuel in the air. So now we're refueling in the air and then eventually we'll be above the clouds. But those that are already in the air, those that are flying, that are awakening or awakening, let's fly in formation and just be an example to those that are still on the ground and waiting for someone else to take their control, waiting for someone else to take their will, if you will, because you're the pilot of your own ship. No one has the controls. The controls are internal. And as we said before, if you're waiting for someone or they would say, well, if God or that being that you were part of, um, you know, he would have created this, that and controls and, and basically like a manual to fly the ship. And the manual is within, right? The manual is within. That's the DNA and that's the intelligence and all of that stuff that's within you that's running the ship already. So tune into that and you'll find out who you truly are and you can take flight and have your own experience. We'll talk about it in a live tomorrow.